I'm doing this live because I'm not getting anything else done. These puppies are very playful right now. Oh, you can hear their teeth clicking. Did you just get bit? What are you doing, Lucy? Hi, Maya. Hi, Ozzy. Hi, Felicia. Welcome to the live. Oh, I haven't seen you before. This is your first time. These are my chihuahuas. I have this chocolate one here is Loki. He's one. This mouthy one right here is Maya. She's three years old. And these are these are just a pair. They're they're bonded. And these are my two new puppies. This is Lucy. And her half brother is the little chocolate one. And his name is Ozzy. I got them three weeks ago when they were ten weeks old. And everyone is all lit up and wanting to play. And let's see if I can get them all in screen here. Let's see, here's Loki. Oh. I mean, they're, they're all just too much. They're just too much right now. I can't get any content created. So I decided, why not? I would go live. So everybody could see my bad babies. <laughs> What are you doing, Loki? Look at my handsome boy. My handsome boy. Sage and Kobe. Oh, they're so cute. How old are they? They're two years old. Okay, so you're through this little stage right here. And you're into this stage over here. Loki has been playing with Maya. Hey, Sindu. Loki's been playing with Maya since we've, well, since forever. He was a big puppy. I have lots and lots of videos of their, their meetings and stuff on there, Felicia. You might want to go and check that out. And I also have Stewie. Stewie. He's walking around here. There he is. This is Stewie. Hi, Stewie. Stewie is 17. Well, this year he'll be 17. So I guess he's still 16. I'm bragging. He doesn't want to play with the puppies. So I have five chihuahuas. I know you're Stewie. He's there. He is. He's just walking around. Stewie just does Stewie stuff. So I don't really expect him to come out and do much. Bye, Stewie. Hi, Stewie. Yeah, he just does Stewie stuff. Yeah, he's a real cutie. Stewie doesn't have any teeth left. And he's an old man, and he's losing his hair and stuff, but he is a doll baby. <clears throat> Back in the day, let me see, I can show you. That was Stewie. See how pretty boy he was? He's so pretty. Here we go. Lucy, little Lucy, <laughs> he 
his old like thing do? Aw, Stewie makes us all smile. He's just goofy. He just drifts in and drifts out. Bye, Stewie. He's on a little medication, too, right now. He's got some itchy skin, so he's taking some Benadryl. And he has some gabapentin online for his arthritis. So I think he's seeing some pink elephants right now, and he's good with that. <clears throat> Here he comes again. Hi, Stuart. Hi. Hi. He's a good boy. He's a good boy. Look at that, that tongue. It's priceless. Maya wants to play. So she's coming and hitting me with a loofah. Ozzy wants to play. Loki wants to play with Ozzy. It's a, it's a crazy, crazy mix we've got right now. It's like, who's on first? Who's on second? Who just stole home? I don't know. Our house is never boring. We always got something going on. It's my Maya. Hanging off the floor. <laughs> Hi, Ozzy. You coming to visit? This little dog right here, Ozzy, is such a love muffin. I don't know what it is about the male chihuahuas. They are so... Oh, Maya. Nobody wants to see that. The male chihuahuas are so lovey-dovey friendly. He's such a doll baby, and so is Loki. Oh, man, these two are the sweetest, sweetest love buckets. Maya. Yeah, you know, um, even even the um, the breeder that we got, our, ours from says the same thing that the boys everybody wants the girls Maya you're an exhibitionist everybody wants the girls but uh the boys are are the friendliest the, the, and the cuddliest now Maya is very cuddly I will give that to her she's also very affectionate to her loofah as you can tell But of the two puppies, um, Lucy is the cutest little dumpling. But I tell you, she is not as as lovey-dovey and as friendly towards any of us as Ozzy. She doesn't want anybody to touch her loofah. She said no. Nope. She was busy enjoying her loofah. Nobody else can have it. Well, Maya, if you want your loofah, go enjoy it by yourself. Oh, let go. <laughs> Sage just barked at us. That's what uh, Theme Do's dog does, Vito. I have a doggy voice, and I haven't given it to Vito. Um, I don't know if he's still on, but uh, whenever I do my 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 doggy voice, uh, Vito goes nuts for thing do. I do my regular lives on Sunday, and that's when I get all the dogs together and we do some tricks and stuff because these. These two here do some tricks. I finally got Loki to roll over for me. He will do it. 
Oh, he is so feisty right now. Look, at he's going for my flesh. All right, that's enough. That's enough out of you. Stop. Stop it. Are you trying to protect mommy, Ozzy? That's the wrong move, buddy. Mommy can protect herself. Go play. Go play. Go play. Shmaya. Hi, super dog lover. The world's shortest book is How to Train the Chihuahuas. Okay, explain. Oh, is that because they're so small? The dogs are so small? Or is it because they're willful and hard to train? Because that's not really true all the way, but sometimes. Maya is my, my smarty patootie. She is very, very smart. She can learn anything. But she's... She's also overly infatuated with her loofah right now. This girl is smart. Oh, she is smart. No, no. The, the puppies so far have not been... I've had them for three weeks. So they're 13 weeks old, and I got them when they were 10 weeks old. And so far... We've learned nada because they are not food motivated at all. In fact, when I, when I picked them up, I mean, they're perfectly healthy, but they're the smallest chihuahuas that I've had. Hi, honey rose. Welcome to the channel. Welcome to the live. Um, but the puppies again, were they were the smallest ones that I've gotten. And they just this week at 13 weeks both made it into the two pound zone so he is four ounces heavier than his little sister but um they're both going to be smaller on the smaller scale for the chihuahuas but they haven't wanted to do anything as far as i can't really entice them into a sit or or anything right yet because they just don't want the food so they'll get there They'll get there because they're still so tiny. They're free feeding because I don't want them to have any sugar issues. Now this one, this one came to me as a little fatty. He was a fatty and he's the biggest chihuahua that I have. Right now, Loki weighs eight pounds. And I know to somebody like Thingdu, that sounds like nothing. I think Vito's front paw probably weighs eight pounds. But uh, he's he he's a big boy. And Maya here, who's exercising all of her. I don't know. This is a PG channel, Maya. All of her exercise is coming out on that loofah right now because she's pretty frustrated, I suppose. <laughs> she weighs uh six point eight pounds right now. Stewie weighs about five and a half. When I let this guy out, I'll tell you what, he is fast as lightning, this guy. He stop Loki. Loki, stop it. All right. You're rough. Why are you being so rough? Do you want to do some tricks? If I got you some liver, would you do some tricks for me? Okay. Let's get the liver. All right. I'll go get some cheats. I've had, I got my first Chihuahua 21 years ago. And you're right. After that, there was, there was nothing else for me. So all in total, I've had seven. Two of mine have gone over the bridge. And I have these five. All right. 
let's see. Let's see what I can get you to do. Oh, oh, and look, the little baby's going to come out for it. Here, you can have this one if you want it. Do you want this? Take it. <laughs> See, everything's a game to her. She just... Okay, Loki. Maya. This is the new thing that they're learning. I'll see if they'll do it. Come here. Come here. Sit. 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 Down. Down. Roll over. <laughs> Bumping into each other. They haven't gotten it, so where they're just do it. What made me decide to get the new babies? Well, we now own this house, and I'm not renting from anyone anymore. And therefore, I don't have any landlady that I have to answer to. And when Pika left us, and she crossed that bridge, she left a huge hole in our hearts. But actually, before she had passed, I had um, found Lucy over there. And she was going to just be, she was going to be the one that we brought in to complete our family. But when I laid eyes on her brother, her half-brother there, they share the same daddy. He reminded me so much of Loki, I just couldn't leave him behind. So we ended up with two. So that's, that's pretty much how and why. Come here. Down. Down. Loki? Loki? Oh, you rolled over already. Well, that was pretty sweet, but I didn't ask you for it. Down. Roll over. Good job, guys. Good job. Do you want one, too? Okay. Um, I know Stewie wants some, but all he wants is the liver. He doesn't want the other one. There. Can you get it? Here. Good boy. Yeah, we have a great backyard too now. The dogs don't go out without supervision and the puppies haven't been out at all. I will not let them out until they've gotten full round of shots so that we're out of the parvo. Yep, Stewie doesn't have to do anything for me. He's retired. All he has to do is sit there and look cute. And he gets a treat. The other ones I will ask to do something for me. But the puppies don't know anything but to get in the way right yet. Okay. Okay, wait. Wait. Wait, 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 wait. Wait. I'll see if I can get it. You too. Wait. Sit. Yes. What about you, miss? You've never done anything for me. Sit. Sit. Sit, sit, <laughs> sit your butt down and you can have it. Sit, nope, she's not going to do it. Sit. sit, 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 she's not going to do it. Come here, come. There you go, Lucy, you can have it. Dance, spin, roll over. Good girl, Maya. Maya, listen. No, I didn't throw it, Maya. Maya. Hey. They think I dropped it. All right, well, you can, well maybe I did drop it. Maya. <laughs> there you go. Puppy. Goodness gracious. I have to start breaking them up. Hi, Tammy. Welcome to our live. These are my naughty britches. My two puppies, Maya and Loki. Oh, you're from Thindu. Well, welcome, welcome, welcome. This is Mr. Stewie. Let's see if he'll eat that. He did. That's some freeze dried salmon right there. They like that. Truth be told, I probably wouldn't mind that. Hi, Annie Deborah. 
<laughs> yeah, we're surprising everybody today because uh, for they are, look at, they're all here. They're all at attention and I can't get anything done in the other room because I just keep hearing things. Oh no, losing a chi is terrible. We just, we just lost, lost our 16 year old girl. Pretty? Oh, you're a pretty girl. Tance, spin. Maya, listen, jump, jump higher for me. You're a good girl. Here you go. Loki, Loki, spin, spin. Good boy. Oh, that twirl you do is so cute. Stewie, hi. Can you be Mr. Stewie for me? Oh, my goodness. Look how good he's doing. Oh, he'll even try to dance. I don't want him to have to do that, though. Puppy, go away. Here, take yours and go. Here, Stewie. I know. You know, I, I feel like I'm trying to feed piranhas in a pond. Here you go. Lucy hasn't had any. Oh, stop hitting her. There. Ozzy, a little booger. I gotta teach them how to wait. I gotta teach them lots of things. Damn. He's gonna be a jumper. Are you gonna be a jumper? All right, we don't have to do that yet. You're too. You're still too little here. You, Maya. You can jump. You can jump. Dance. Twirl. Yeah, that's right. Spin. Okay. Listen. Listen to me. Roll over. Good boy. Maya, roll over. Good girl. Ozzy, sit. Well, you got your butt on the ground. That's better than your sister. Sit. Good girl, yes. I tried dehydrating my own treats, um, and, yeah, bye, Felicia, I hope you sub, so we'll see you again, take care, have a good day, yeah, 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 I tried dehydrating my own treats, and that, that was, um, I didn't go so well. Well, it depends on, I guess, what you try to dehydrate. And what I was doing was, I, my oven is a dehydrator. And I thought that that was great. Ooh, why did you peck him? Yeah, I wanted to do it with, um, I think I, I would have better luck if I actually got a tabletop dehydrator. Because I had my oven running. For like 24 hours and then the stuff I tried to dehydrate didn't work out well so uh, I'm not against trying it again but I don't think I had the right equipment and I don't think I had the quite the right mindset maybe even the wrong preparation for what I was doing which was pork skin Nina has allergies yeah, dog allergies, that's no joke. Okay. All right. Nope, nope, that's for Stewie, Ozzy. Here. All right. So that's all the treats we're going to do for right now because that's going to spoil their dinner. And also, the puppies haven't had a whole lot of the salmon treats yet. And I have been through in the past three weeks with these babies... More than my fair share of upset stomachs. So. She can't have any poultry. Oh, my goodness. Ah. I dehydrated some um, pork skin. I, I love to do um, slow-cooked pork. I just have a weakness for it. And I always take the skin up off of it 
and this time I made it into little tiny strips and I've stuck it in there. But I think I left uh, too much fat on it or something. And then I saw this guy later making, um, I guess they call them like chimmy, chimmy cherries. And oh my God, he, well, he cooked them. He cooked them all day in this uh, like fryer pot and it was the coolest thing I'd ever seen. And they popped and it was just like pork rinds. It was great. You know, that's weird about chicken because actually, you know, now that you mention it, Stewie's going through some, some stuff with his skin right now. And he's eating chicken. Now, he's been eating ch a chicken all his entire, his entire life. But for whatever reason, in the wintertime, it just seems like his skin gets really dry. And it's, you know, it, it just gets really terrible for him. Hi, Ozzy. Ozzy's come up to visit. Like I said, this little boy is the friendliest puppy He's, a, he's just a little sweetheart. He just loves to come and get into your lap. Where his sister is very inquisitive. She's like, oh, did you think you want to touch me? I know, see ya. Bye-bye. See you later. A Mexican burrito of choice is pork, pork skin. I, I don't know. I, I, I like to chomp on pork rinds. from. I get, I get that from my dad. <clears throat> but I wanted to give it to the dogs because they like pig ears. So I figured, well, maybe I could do the pig skin and, you know, make a, a pig skin thing myself. And it didn't turn out the way I had anticipated. And I think I had left too much fat on it. Maya, uh-uh, get away from there. Maya has found my cold brew. It's on the other side of the pillow, and she thinks I don't see her. Maya, everyone says they can see you. They, they see you, Maya. Maya thinks that if she doesn't move, that I can't see her, like Jurassic Park. She only sees movement. No, no, Maya, I wear the glasses so I can see you when you're bad. She says, no, I'm not bad. <laughs> she says, I'm not bad. So we got Loki here who has surprisingly come around and decided that he likes the puppies okay. The only problem is, is that we need to keep Loki, the pig ears, and the puppies separate. Because that's no bueno. He got mad at the puppy today. He got mad. There we go. There's the puppies. There's the puppies. Lucy and Ozzy. And their big brother slash cousin Loki. So, um, you know, Annie Marlene had said, you know, are you sure that Lo Loki and Ozzy aren't related? Because they really remind me of each other. And I went back and I asked and I said, is there any possibility that Loki, whom we got in June of 2021, could be related at all? to Ozzy that we just we just got and actually they do have an ancestor in common so Ozzy's mother was a half uh Ozzy yeah Ozzy's mother's father was a half brother to Loki's grandfather so they're, they're like cousins removed 
you know, I don't know how many times she'd say that is. <clears throat> so little boy, who's eating the tag, what is it with, with these little dogs and the tags on things? If there's a tag, hi Nancy, welcome, welcome to my impromptu. I was telling everybody I wasn't able to do any content creation, and I know everybody's like, where are the videos? I know you probably got lots of stuff that you could put up. Yeah, I take lots of video, but I haven't been able to put it together on anything. Because this girl needs to get a laptop. That way I can be out here with the puppies and keeping an eye on them instead of tucked away in an office trying to get the editing done when they're out here running amok because they're at that age where they want to chew on everything. Look at the sweetness. Yeah, all, all puppies just love tags. I mean, she loves tags, but this little girl also eats the eyeballs out of all the toys. She, uh, Maya didn't like things that looked at her when she was a puppy. I have a video that that shows her growling at anything that had eyes, including her own reflection. She just didn't like anything that looked at her. Oh, oh, you are not in my cold brew. <gasps> you are you. And I blamed Maya. Shame. He couldn't get any of his way down there. But he tried. Now I have to put it away. Mm, mm -mm. This is why mommy can't have any good things. Shameful baby. I'm going to sit here with that puppy. He's a good puppy. <clears throat> Lucy, are you coming to see us too? Are you? Why? I can't believe you're giving me your presents. Look at this cute face. I eat my heart out to hold this little baby. They do love to sleep on me, though. Bye, Tammy. Wonderful to see you. See you next time. <clears throat> Puppies do like to sleep on people. She's chasing her tail. <laughs> Did you catch it? Did you catch it? It's still behind you. It is. Your tail's still behind you. What are you doing? What did you find? She likes to eat fluff and hair that she finds on the carpet. And when Maya and... No, let me have it. If I can get it, I want to take it. When Maya and um, Loki um, play, they rip out little tufts of each other's hair. And Puppy likes to eat it. That's not good. <clears throat> no plaque on teeth chewing zippers, no. What's the funniest thing I think my dogs have ever gotten into that they consistently chewed? Um, that would have to be Stewie. Um, for whatever reason, we thought that Stewie actually had thumbs. Because my son used to come and visit us a lot. And whenever he would come, he would usually have a backpack. And no matter where he put that backpack... Stewie would go and find it and he would unzip the backpack and steal his toothbrush and chew it up. It was just a toothbrush. He would unzip and take the toothbrush. It was pretty bizarre. So I ended up having to buy extra toothbrushes and just keep them at my house so that Seraphim would have a toothbrush when he came. 
Hi, Maya. Hi. Hello, Maya. Hello, pretty baby. Hey, yo. Are you going to sit on me? Are you going to come and sit? Or are you going to go play? Do you want to play? We're back to the loofah. Oh, she's back to chasing her tail. It's still following you, Lucy. Lucy, your tail is still there. Now, Stewie was the one that ended up losing all of his teeth, too. I mean, go figure. Hi, Maya. Bring me the Bring it to me. Bring it to me. No, I threw it. Go get it. Go get it. Go get it, pretty girl. Maya! Hi! Hi, Maya. How's my baby? She's a good girl. She is a good girl. She's not quite sure about, about puppies sometimes. She plays with them. But she thinks that they get into too much stuff. Oh my goodness. Get off there. You're not supposed to be on there. Thunker. See, he's resting now. Are you all tired? Are you tuckered out? I gave all of them a bath yesterday. All five. So his fur is all fluffy and it hasn't gone back into its regular fur pattern she's starting to settle down it's so funny that they're they're curly these dogs are actually curly when they give them their baths sweet curly boy Maya what are you doing why is there a duck back there? Logie has been burying things all around the house. There we go. He must have buried a duck. He doesn't really like to share his toys. So he hides them. Here comes Lucy. Oh, they're starting to settle down. They're starting to settle. Are you tired, Lucy? Lucy Goosey? Oh. Oh, there she goes. Yeah, you did. You caught us live. I am... Um, I did it impromptu, Kim. I just decided, you know, hey, I haven't been able to do anything because these puppies would not rest. They would not. And they're chewing on stuff and just basically getting into trouble. So rather than sit there and try to edit and lose time with documenting them, I thought I would come online and show everybody where they are real time at 13 weeks. Look at that face. Lucy reminds us so much of Pika. It's just ridiculous how much she reminds us of Pika. <laughs> oh, now she's tired. Look at them. Both, both all sleepy. There's Ozzy. They're good. Now they'll get a little rest. But even this guy is tired. 
he was ripping up the place earlier. FedEx and Amazon were out there today, and there were no packages for our house. And they were like, what the floof is going on here? They're yodeling, yowling, yipping, howling. And the Amazon person did not hear you. Not at all. They're tired. They're tired now. Maya's not tired. Maya. Maya, what are you doing? What are you doing, Maya? What's up? What's up with you? What's up? Maya. You want to play? Do you want to play? Are you going to play with me or not? You're just going to sit there and look at me. What's it going to be, Maya? Get a toy. Go get one. Go get a toy. <laughs> Go get it. Go get one. Go get one, Maya. Go get it. Go get it. Get that. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? You're silly. Go get toys. Go get one. I throw it for you. <laughs> <laughs> She's full of it. And there's Stewie. Bye, Stewie. Stewie comes into frame and leaves. Yeah. There's absolutely nothing going on between those ears today at all. He's just like, he comes out and goes, oh, hi, how are you? I haven't seen you in about two minutes. Wow, that's been a long time. Maya. Maya. Come here. Come here, Maya. Oh, give me kisses. Give me kisses. Now he's back in his bed. Let's see over there. Are you back in your bed, Stewie? Hmm? Thanks for stopping in and visiting with us, Nancy. We're not going to be online for very much longer either. But it's good to see everybody. And we will still be here on Sunday. At 3 p.m. EST. If you're new or haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and hit that bell. You can watch these dogs again on Sunday and see some of our content as it goes up. We do shorts and long content when I can because these guys... Yeah, when they're awake, they're really awake. It is not an ice cream sundae, and I paid for that last ice cream sundae in spades. Oh, my goodness. These puppies. You like the shorts, Kim? I've got a couple of them that are coming coming up. I've been, I have the ideas for. I just uh, haven't gotten babies to participate so you know, we we're trying to get them to uh sit next to something so that you can judge their size and stuff like that and they're just like yeah we're wandering away we'll see you later <clears throat> that's not cool i don't have a whole lot of hands to help me film either seraphin tried to help me today All right, Music Mama, we'll see you later. Have a good one. Keep us in your thoughts and prayers. We could sure use them, huh? Yeah. So, yeah, she could use them. She could use them. Look how much better her eyes are. I don't know whether it's just, I. whether it's the, the you know, the only thing I changed was the water. I did, I changed that. She's getting better. Ruth is so sleepy. All sleepy. Except for Maya. Maya, you're not sleepy? You're not sleepy? Oh, thank you. 
Kim says you're gorgeous, Maya. Do you want some want some loves from Kim? Come here. Maybe she'll throw something for you if you go and get it. Come here. Let me give you pets. Let me give you pets. Oh, that's so nice. You're such a good girl. Go ahead. Give me five. Give. Let me shake. Shake. Oh, you're a good girl. You're a good girl. There you go. That's from Kim. She says you're pretty. She says you're pretty. She's pretty and she's sniffy, too. Are you sniffing? That little nose is working overtime. She says, yes, yeah, she would like some more games, please. She would like some more games. Okay, if I throw it, will you go and get it? Huh? If I throw it, you're not going to give it to me. You're going to... Hang on top of puppies because why not? <laughs> Thanks for popping in and seeing us, Auntie Deborah. We love you. Oh, they're so cute. Oh my goodness. I love it when there's those sleepy puppies. Maya just hit the phone with her head. <laughs> Thunk. She's the only one that's not tired. Everyone else is hunkered down. Not her. Maya has batteries inside her batteries. I love these. The crinkly ones. Maya loves them. And this fox has. Oh, speaking of foxes. Oh, my God. Story time. Um, I was. It was warm here. And I know all, so many of you across the country right now are going, what do you mean it's warm there? Um, it, it was warm in the house. I mean, my husband sweats. He cracks a sweat if it's over 70 in the house. So I had the front window open and I kept hearing this weird screaming outside. It was the strangest thing. And it didn't sound like the fox, like I usually hear the fox. It just sounded like somebody was beating their children outside with these weird screams. So I stepped out the front door and I was like, what is that? It sounds like it's coming from the back. You know, we have this very large field in the back. It doesn't belong to us, but it, it is back there. And um, running through that field, I could just barely see the outlines of these two animals. And they, I think it was two foxes. And I think that they were doing a courtship screaming match out there in the, in the back. We call we call it the back forty, but it it was uh, it was quite the thing, and it was after dark, so I couldn't really. I got it on. I mean, you could clearly hear it. I mean, and I might do a snippet of it just so that all of you can hear it in a video, but you can't really see them because it was so dark outside. The camera just couldn't really pick them up, but. The noise that was going on, oh, oh my God. So I think there's going to be more fox kits for us in the springtime. I, I don't know how happy I am about having nature so close these days with having these little guys. But they'll be bigger in the springtime. But that, that was quite an interesting night. I mean, I was like, who, what, who, who's beating their children? What is going on outside? And it was the foxes. So I went and got Seraphim, went and got Jeremy. And I was like, wow, listen to this. I'm, I'm live. 
So, yeah, I'm telling everybody about the foxes. They it was uh, yeah it was party in the back but I think that it was party only for two. Yeah. But it was odd. It was very odd. We do have owls and we have hawks. We have very big ones. I think I saw a juvie bald eagle. I can't be sure, but it was very big. So our babies aren't going outside unattended ever. Ever, ever. Yeah, we got some new people on, I think. So you can see puppies. You can see our puppies. Here we go. That's Lucy. Sleeping so sweetly. Lucy, you want to open up an eye at all? Say hi to anybody? No? And she is sleeping on top of her brother's face. That's, there's Ozzy. I get worried about anything touching my babies. I have to work on, there's this one spot in our fence that um, our neighbor dog was jumping into our yard. And I didn't, I don't like that. I mean, the dogs seem to get along with small dogs, but it was a Rottweiler. And I have these tiny little dogs they wouldn't have a chance against a big dog like that. I have a fence for a reason. But uh, there's there's a, pl a place where the fence is low. And that dog could just like jump into the yard. So I'm going to put up something else this, this season, I hope. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. A new season in the house. Now Maya's calm. There she is. Now I can give her a pet for all of you. You can see her fur, her merle pattern. She's so pretty. She is such a pretty girl. You know, coyotes are brave. And, you know, we don't live in the country here. And there are, there are coyotes here as well. I mean, we are in... It used to be a very rural area. When I was a child here, it was a very rural area. I mean, I lived in the sticks. And this area is all built up now because we're not that far outside of D.C. And so this area is all built up now. And, uh, yep, the animals have to have some place to go. And we do have a wildlife refuge uh, probably about three miles. Three is it three miles? Probably three miles. Yeah, three to five three miles, miles away, and um, they have you know different different birds and stuff there. But at my mom's house, and she lives about two miles away from here, there was a coyote, okay. and um, I could blame my mom for that. And you know, I could say that with a clear conscience. Because she used to make, like, different f foods and things like that. And she'd, like, if she had a chicken, she'd have all the chicken bones and stuff that nobody ate. She'd go down to the her property line and just dump the chicken bones and, and stuff in the woods. And that was just inviting. You're just inviting the wildlife. Not only to, to, to come by and visit you. Like, you know, it was like a wonderful three-star, five-star restaurant. I mean, you're inviting them to stay. And that's what she did. So she had Coyote. Sweet girl. The Coyote that she had, though, we saw walking down the street one day, and it had the worst case of mange. It was not healthy. Here's your puppies. Here's your puppies. There's Ozzy. He woke up and showed us part of an eye. Look at Lucy. Look at the backs of her ears. They're so cute. She looks like a little baby hyena. The tips of her ears. She also has a merle pattern. 
in her coat. When it grows out, it's going to be real pretty. She's going to look like her daddy. Yes. Well, now they're all asleep. So they're more or less boring. And that notification you just heard was Jeremy saying he's on his way home. Oh, no. Yeah, I hate to, to hear that um, Chihuahuas have gotten picked off by anything. I mean, that hurts me to my heart. And it happens. It happens so often. But nowadays, I mean, when you you hear people's kids, you know, getting getting attacked by things and it's that that's crazy. I saw some footage um, somebody had. It was TikTok, I think. I mean, they pull out their phones for just about anything. And this this child was being attacked. Let's see. It, there was one that got attacked by a raccoon. Okay, well, she walked up to it. There's raccoons in the middle of the day, right? This lady walks up to it with her telephone. And she's like, oh, I want to get a picture with it. Well, why is a raccoon out in the middle of the day anyway, in the middle of the street, just walking around in circles? Okay, we all know why. But, um, yeah, of course, it attacked her. I'm sure she had to go through rabies shots. That was, that was, uh, that was ridiculous. That, that was an adult. So she shouldn't have done that. And then there was this uh, this other little kid who was two years old. And um, the mom was walking with their little girl. And a, a coyote came up and grabbed that kid by the, by the shorts and was trying to drag this child away right in front of its parents. Oh, that's crazy. That's crazy. Should be. Babies. Sometimes I worry when I'm out walking them, you know, when we go out the pond and stuff like that. You know, you wonder, is it going to be a wonderful walk? Is everybody going to have their dogs leashed? Is this going to be a fun time? And you hate to have that kind of anxiety when you're getting ready to go for a walk. But, you know, I got teeny tiny dogs. Yitty bitties. So, Andy Deborah was your little uh, neighborhood chihuahua. Was it just allowed to, to run free or was it picked out of somebody's yard? These babies, they're all sleepy. So everybody's knocked out. He ran free. Well, that's that's uh that's problem number one. I hang out in a bunch of uh, Chihuahua groups, and there was these these folks that were in a panic, and their little Chihuahua's name was Chico, and he's really cute, really cute. He was a little black and tan try and um they had to rush the man off uh to the hospital and he was in the hospital and he was getting ready to have a heart stent put in and his wife went home so she could rest up go back to the hospital the next morning she couldn't find the dog when the ambulance had been there uh, to take him to the hospital a little dog slipped out the door and um they he was you know laying there in the hospital all upset and worried prior to getting his stint because his dog was missing and it turns out that the the neighbors all banded together and they ended up finding him so it ended really really well little chico was back home the man's surgery went well he's back home now with his dog everything's cool but oh my gosh i looked at jeremy i was like we better have a fail safe plan because I mean, you can't collapse in the middle of your, your front room and go, oh, you got to put the dogs away so they don't get out when the paramedics get here. <laughs> but, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm going to want to have a plan <laughs> in place for that stuff. Put the dogs away, please. 
I can't worry about that while I'm on a stretcher. Yeah. These are babies. These babies. These babies. They're all tired now. I'm checking my phone here. I've got 9% power left. Jeremy's on his way home for dinner. So I think we're going to go ahead and sign off. And I will do my best to get some more content out so that you guys can see some more fun stuff. And Kim, I'm going to work on some more shorts because I, I just love doing those. Those are so funny. My husband loved that Huggy Wuggy song so much. I, I thought he was going to, he was just going to die unless I put that one out. So, you know, I hope, uh, I hope that that was a fun one for you too, because he, he sure did love it. Hi, Bella Mia. We're getting ready to, to sign off. We've been on for a good, uh, an hour. So Bella Mia has a wonderful channel too. She has a little Shih Tzu. I hope I said that right. Shih Tzu. Shih Tzu. I hope I'm close. <laughs> All right. We love you guys. And we will be back on Sunday for our live at 3 o'clock with these guys and we did get some ice cream even though I probably will live to regret that with all the poo-poos that we had but it's a regular frosty paws and not the cheese so see you all on Sunday and I'll talk to you later bye-bye